Hey, don't tell Meghan this, but Prince Harry's been up to something. Hi, good morning, Neil. Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. Lovely to have your company as ever. Hope you're all keeping well. Listen, by the way, let's just all say some prayers and send good thoughts and vibes to all those terrible people who have suffered in those tornadoes around the world. Horrendous stories. And of course, for anybody else who's tuning in today that's having a bad day or whatever, just feeling a little bit blue, we're here with you. We're here to cheer you up. And of course, as I often say here on this show, he could do two things for you. He could depress you. <laughs> or cheer you up but remember this you're never alone we're all in this together let's just leave it there back as ever to your break your role story of the day now as you know prince harry got very upset of course when he decided to exit and was stripped of those military titles that was one thing of course that got him very upset he hoped to clutch on to those but of course our gracious majesty the queen said it was impossible you couldn't be half in you couldn't be half out you either had to be a full-time working member of the british monarchy or not at all and this is of course where prince harry struggled of course he dashed over then to the united states via canada and well did lots of things that we're all very unhappy with but then as we often know when you do these sort of things you pull back a bit and start to look and think you know what I did miss that or I do miss doing that now according to a very good source and as ever we always have to say this on the show as you know one two three allegedly <laughs> a very good source told me that it was the remembrance Sunday service that really triggered off a memory and naturally so he was a huge part of that on a more serious note and that would of course have kick-started things of what he'd left behind so much so though that according to a very good source also Prince Harry has some yearnings to return yes but in fact it's gone beyond just yearnings he reached out and did this according to that good source Prince Harry basically decided that he wanted to offer his assistance now this is interesting in itself let me tell you because this could mean a solo return as we all know her glorious majesty the queen recently suffered some slight ill health all back and up and running but of course she's got a big year next year with her platinum jubilee and there's going to be a lot of demands on her i don't really know how they're going to get around that because so many people will truly want to see her up and down this wonderful country of ours the united kingdom scotland ireland and wales and of course they'd love it if she could even make some trips outside the United Kingdom but can't see it myself I'm seeing a lot of pre-recorded videos and big screens and stuff like that but this is where it got interesting because according to the very good source Prince Harry has expressively written to Her Majesty the Queen offering his services in any way that he can if there's anything he can do to alleviate the problem of any pressure that she may be under very good move don't you think by Prince Harry but of course you know all of that has now been planned and as we told you here on the show first the person driving all of that organization forward is none other than one of my favorite royals one you simply wouldn't want to cross our glorious princess royal princess Anne now given the way it looks they uh, treated allegedly uh, her royal highness princess Anne I'm not holding much hope out but what it does tell you seriously about this is that Prince Harry, perhaps the cloud, the fog, is finally clearing and he's wondering what he let go. Of course, if Her Majesty the Queen was gracious enough to bestow him something to do within the Platinum Jubilee, I'm sure that could happen. Isn't it sad the way this has all turned out for Prince Harry? But of course, we do wish him well in all of his endeavours that he plans to do moving forward. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.